Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on basics of counting in combinatrix. In the previous video, we are already discussed about what is combinatrix, what is the purpose of combinatrix and what is permutation, what is the formula is used for finding out the permutation, what is combination and what is the formula we have to find out the uh, combination. These are the points that we are discussed in the previous video. So now in this video, we have to discuss about basics of counting in combinatrix. So there are mainly two types of basics of countings. First one is a sum rule and second one is product rule. So first we have to concentrate on sum rule. Okay. So consider two tasks. So that is a task 1 and a task 2. These two tasks are performed. Okay. Task T1, task 1 can be denoted by T1 and task 2 can be denoted by T2. Okay. Task T1 can be performed in m different ways. Task T2 can be performed in n different ways. These two tasks T1 and T2 cannot be performed simultaneously. Okay. So then one of the two tasks either T1 or T2 can be performed in m plus n ways. Okay, one of the two tasks T1 or T2 can be performed in M plus N ways where M is nothing but number of, uh, number of ways of the performing task T1. N is nothing but number of ways of performing task T2. Okay, next. In general, so there are uh, N tasks are there T1. T2, T3, up to Tn tasks are there. Okay. T1 task can be performed in N1 ways. And T2 task can be performed in N2 ways. T3 task can be performed in N3 ways. <coughs> and Tn task performed in N suffix K ways. Okay. Then one of the N task can be performed in N1 plus N2 plus N3 plus up to N sub X K ways. Okay. So, this formula is used for finding out among the N number of tasks. Okay. Only one task either T1 or T2 or T3 or Tn can be performed in how many ways that is n1 plus n2 plus n3 plus up to n suffix k ways. So this is the general rule of the sum rule. Okay. So this is only for two tasks. Okay. This is for n task. Okay. Two tasks can be performed. T1 task can be performed in m different ways. T2 task can be performed in n different ways. T1 and T2 task cannot be performed simultaneously. Then any one of the two tasks can be performed in how many ways? That is m plus n ways. Okay. In general, there are n number of tasks are performed. So T1 task can be performed in n1 different ways. T2 task can be performed in N2 ways. T3 task can be performed in N3 ways. And Tn task can be performed in N suffix K ways. Okay. So one of the, one of the among the N number of tasks can be performed in how many ways? That is N1 plus N2 plus N3 plus up to N suffix K ways. Okay. So, this is the description about the sum rule. Okay. So, 
please check this one whatever i am discussing so that we are uh, written as a notes okay suppose two tasks t1 and t2 are to be performed suppose two tasks are performed t1 task and t2 task if the task t1 performed in m different ways task t1 can be performed in m different ways and task t2 can be performed in n different ways okay next if the two tasks cannot be performed simultaneously okay then one of the two task t1 or t2 can be performed in how many ways that is m plus l ways okay next one general rule generally if there are n number of tasks are there or k number of tasks are there t1 t2 t3 up to uh, tk or k task such that no two task cannot be performed simultaneously okay and if the task ti can be performed in n suffix i different ways okay then one of the k tasks that is t1 or t2 or t3 or up to tk can be performed in how many ways n1 plus n2 plus n3 plus up to n suffix k ways okay this is the description about the sum rule now we can go for some example problems on sum rule okay now we can go for example one problem suppose there are 16 boys and 18 girls are there in a class okay how many ways to select one of these students either a boy or a girl as class representative that means so number of boys so number of boys is equal to 16 next number of girls number of girls in a class is equal to 18 okay so among the 16 boys we want to select one boy as a class representative next among the 18 girls we want to select one girl as a class representative okay when we are combining either a boy or a girl can be selected as a class representative how many number of ways okay so here the uh, according to the sum rule here two tasks are there okay first task means a boy can be selected as a class representative so how many number of ways of selecting a boy as a class representative that is 16 ways okay how many number of ways a girl can be selected as a class representative that is 18 ways okay either a boy or a girl can be selected as a class representative he is m plus n that is a 16 plus 18 that is equal to 34 so 34 ways are there for selecting either a boy or a girl acts as a class representative so that means so number of ways number of ways for selecting for selecting a boy as a class representative as a class representative so this is task one okay is equal to m ways m ways is nothing but 16 ways 16 ways okay so this is a, a task one i am treating this is a task one okay next task two task two means number of ways number of ways for selecting for selecting a girl a girl as a class representative class representative 
so how many number of ways so that is a n ways n is nothing but number of girls so that is 18 ways okay next one so in the task one a boy can be selected as a class representative among the 16 boys how many number of ways 16 ways next in task 2 how many number of ways for selecting a girl as a class representative that is the n ways n is nothing but 18 ways so task 1 and task 2 cannot be performed simultaneously now so number of ways number of ways number of ways of selecting selecting a boy or a girl a boy or a girl as a class representative as a class representative as a class representative that is equal to 16 ways plus 18 ways so 16 plus 18 so that is equal to 34 ways 34 ways are there for selecting either a boy or a girl to be acts as a class representative so here this is the number of no is nothing but number of boys is equal to 16 number of girls is equal to 18 so the number of ways of selecting a boy as a class representative is equal to m ways m is nothing but 16 ways this is a task one next number of ways of selecting either a girl can be taken as class representative that is a n ways that is 18 ways so this is a task two Task 1 and task 2 cannot be performed simultaneously. Then we want to select either a boy or a girl. That means either a task 1 or task 2. Okay, as a class representative is equal to M plus N base. Here M is nothing but 16 plus N is nothing but 18. That is equal to 34 base. Hence we can say that 34 ways are there for selecting either a boy or a girl can be selected as a class representative.